All right, so we are streaming live to YouTube. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, just get your microfiber cloth with some of your favorite leather cleaner. And let's just go ahead and rub in circles here. And this particular cleaner is a conditioner as well. So we are not going to be rinsing or rubbing this off because we want those uh, for this particular cleaner, Shoe MGK, it has natural derivatives from coconut oil and jojoba oil. So we want to leave that in there to hydrate and condition the leather. Again, please ask any questions if you guys have anything. Um, I do have some Doc Martin uh, heels that I want to show you guys that I'm going to be cleaning today. So that's really exciting. Uh, so stick around for that. And make sure you guys are very thorough because you don't want some parts of the leather on this bag to be hydrated and others not. Especially the high traffic areas, you want to make sure that you're clean, such as the bottom. You know, many purses or bags do have the metal feet on there, but some don't. And so um, that's an, an area that gives gets a lot of traffic that you want to make sure that you're conditioning because it has a lot of exposure to friction and surfaces that are unclean. So that can lead to, you know, issues with dyeing and things like that. Okay. So already, uh, whatever those marks were, looked like some type of food already came off really nicely. Oftentimes you can just use a damp cloth to clean off, especially if it's happened right away. And if you guys need um, something a little bit more quick and something more cleansing, um, maybe on the go, baby wipes are great for cleaning leather on the go. So that can be for, you know, and this is specifically for full grain, top, top grain, genuine leather versus something like suede. You're not going to be able to do the same things. So just keep that in mind. Is anybody in the show here that has watched uh, my YouTube channel yet? All right, so this is pretty good. Um, now the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and just prepare this for resale. So. Now that we've cleaned it and we've conditioned it, we're going to make sure that we stuff it and especially um, to give it a nice look, we want to fill it out so that it is in a, in a place where um, just aesthetically it can look good as well as uh, conditionally our, our leather here, we want it to be filled out because when it's not filled out, it has more potential to crease, which creates you know, wrinkles and or um, dryness, and then that can begin to crack. So let's go ahead. You guys can use newspaper, recycled paper. Um, just note, if you do use newspaper, oftentimes that can bleed into lighter color leather or liners. So it's best to just use like recycled paper that doesn't have any type of ink or print on it. And then, of course, you can use, you know, bubble wrap or... Um, Plastic bags are great from the grocery store, but you want to make sure your leather bags are filled out. <clears throat> so I'm just going to use some plastic bags. And again, guys, I want to go ahead and leave... Um, my YouTube channel in the description for you. I'll continue to do that throughout the show so you guys can have access to that. Um, it's really been fun to do that, and uh, I'd love if I could get um, your guys' time to just check it out. Um, something I'm noticing really quickly here is that in the liner, um, there seems to be some, some, I'm not sure if it's, wear or dirt, whatever, just on this top right here. 
and we're just going to do the same thing. We have the cleaner and a damp cloth, and we're just going to rub that. And we want to make sure as we rub it off that we're changing the area of the cloth because that dirtiness, we don't want to just spread the dirtiness around. We really want to take it up, move the area of the cloth, and then repeat. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let that dry. It doesn't seem to be too much on the other side or in the liner here. It's a little bit over here. Let's go ahead and tackle that. And by the way, guys, if you didn't know, I am selling all of the things that I clean on my show as well as my YouTube. So let me know if you're interested in anything, and I want to give you guys an extra discount since you are present in the show. So let's go ahead and stuff this now. Make sure we push it out and fill it out. See these things here? We want to continue to stuff that so that it's not creasing. All right, it's looking good. So let's go ahead and close that up. You can kind of fluff it up a little bit and um, if you guys can see it looks so much nicer those spots are off of it essentially again we filled it up it has a nice structure and look to it now and this one is ready for resale if you guys want to go a step further you could always take some leather cream uh, if you want it to be a little bit more shiny this one is in pretty good condition but essentially um, for example, if you did get uh, Shoe MGK leather cream, you would just take that with the applicator. For example, here on the bottom, and then just it gives a hydration barrier as well as a nice shine. It also protects it from, you know, food and whatever you might have on there. And then BCS says, how do I direct message? I'm kind of new here. Wanted to know how much this coach bag is going for. That's a great question. Um, you can definitely, you know, just write here. But um, if you wanted to write on my channel, uh, on my in my closet, you can go to a bundle order and message me there. Or, you know, we can, if you just tell me how much you're looking to purchase it for I all I do is do a quick list and then I auction it and then you can have the opportunity to buy it right now on the spot so yeah there's a few options it's just up to you mm -hmm. and one more thing here as you guys can see um, the the bottom of this has had some distressing here and the paint has come off so let's go ahead and see what we can do for that. All right, so absolutely. Hey there, Flapper McFinney um, says, I just came on. What did you use on that beautiful bag? Absolutely. So there was some marks and things on that. Um, we actually are using this shoe cleaner brand, it, but it's um, it's specific for leather and suede, new book, et cetera. Very versatile. Uh, essentially, um, we just got a damp cloth and wiped it down uh, with this cleaner, and it made it have a nice luster, a nice hydration back into it. But yeah, absolutely. And then uh, Mona says, if I go to your YouTube channel, can you show me how to give a show? I have no idea. Um, 
So you're you're asking maybe how to have how to run your own live show. Is that what you're talking about, Mona? Go ahead and let me know in the uh, comments there. But yeah, let's get let's get to this um, this bottom portion. But yeah, Mona, essentially, you do have to have certain criteria with within Poshmark. You have to be a Posh ambassador. You have to um, meet certain criteria that enables you to be a host of a live show. So you can definitely do some more research on that. You know, you can type that into Google. Um, but if you're talking about like how to set up a show and do all these things, I could definitely help you out with that as well. So let me know if you're interested. And then on the tips here, essentially what I've done is, this is something you guys have seen me do in the past. Um, essentially, you're going to want to get some black leather dye because the the reason that this is now discolored uh, and gray is because friction or whatever ha has happened on here um, essentially rubbed off that color. So we just want to put that color back on and we want to dye it. Um, what I suggest is using a leather dye like this one. Um, but what I've done is I put it into my marker and I explain that on some of my videos on YouTube as well, how to do that. And I leave the description and the links for these items as well. So just a quick, um, it's really easy to use something like this, but I'll leave that in the description as well for you guys. But let us let me show you how easy and um, just amazing this works. So essentially we just cover it up just like that. And before your eyes, you know, that's pretty much all you need to do. You can add, you know, more coats. Um, but as we see, there's a bit of a film that's left on here. And so one of our next steps I'll show you in just a second. And it looks like some of this on here actually can be rubbed off because it's more of a surface thing and it's not more of a wear thing. So we're just going to take our cloth. Let me see if I'm right here. Just give that a, a little bit of pressure, gentle pressure with our cloth. And some of those marks should just rub off. Just like so. So that's really cool as well. But yeah. Um, yeah, you're so welcome, BCS. And please ask any more questions. I'd love to help you guys. It really depends on what your specific issues may be, but... I can help as much as I can, and I'm learning still as well. So if you guys have anything to teach me, please let me know. So really quickly, back to the area that we colored. Um, you know, you can just use a little bit of leather conditioner or something like that and just wipe off the film. That'll take away that. haziness or that discoloration um, because what I have put into the uh, Montana marker here is the leather dye but I also mixed it with alcohol so it dries quicker and really penetrates the leather and so once that dries that's looking really good and essentially the the corner is restored so this is much much better, I think, in my opinion. What do you guys think? And then let's go ahead and move on to some shoes. All right. But yes, I that is for sale. So let me know if you want to purchase that on the show. I can get it to you quick and simple. So we have some Doc Martens. I think I'll just decide for us. These are, I believe, the Clemency. Yes, this is a Clemency. And this is a size five, a women's size five. But as you guys can see, you know, there's discoloration, there's scuffing. There's a lot of the, um, just the dust and the dirt and the grime that accumulates. And so let's go ahead and wipe that up and also brush it off using the shoe mgk brush 
and we'll go ahead and scrub it up, get all that dirt off and clean it. That's a really great question, Mona. For all leather, the glue that I use in particular, it depends on what you need to do, but I would highly suggest getting Fibings Leather Craft Cement. This is specifically formulated for leather, and it will be malleable and flexible with the leather that you use versus using like super glue or something like that. Super glue is going to get hard and crusty, uh, but this is flexible with your leather so i would highly suggest picking this up you know you can get it on amazon at your local michaels or joanne's fabric something like that um craft store but this is great for for gluing leather all right so what i'm doing here is just lacing up these boots here because i want to make sure that the laces don't get in my way when i'm cleaning So um, I have my brush here. I'm going to put it a little bit in the water to get it damp. And then right after that, we're just going to take some direct shoe MGK. We don't need much. It's a concentrated form. And then we just start scrubbing. And you can do this to your purses as well. Just don't use um, a lot of water. Really, you don't need a lot. But I'm just using what I am today because of that it's a shoe essentially and that there's quite a bit of dust and debris but yeah this is definitely uh, hydrating it very well so you don't have to do anything crazy but really you want to get in the welt stitching especially if it's Doc Martens that's where a lot of the dirt and dust accumulates so once that's all sudsed up we want to go ahead and wipe off not rinse off, but just wipe off because the suds lift all of the dirt and the dust from the boot. And then you can just keep the hydration from the jojoba and coconut oil of the conditioner here on there to keep it nice and supple, prevent cracking. All right, and already just cleaning it, um, you guys can see that even some of the scuffs and the dirt and the grime just completely come off. Um, but yeah, welcome in Sassy Mona, also another Mona there, huh? And uh, essentially, I'll go ahead and leave it in the description, guys. This is Shoe MGK cleaner and conditioner. Now, I just use this on our coach bag as well, and it did fantastically cleaning that. Um, just beautifully. I really, really like that. But yeah, you guys can get free shipping and 15% off if you guys are interested in that um, by using my link or using my code at chewmgk.com. Just use my uh, closet name, Avummies. And yeah, great product. This has lasted me for uh, almost, if not more than 100 shoes. Again, it's concentrated. You don't need to use very much. And the results are like this. So let's take a quick look. You can see just the dirt and the grime has completely come off as well on the toe areas. <clears throat> yeah, super big difference. But yeah, uh, you guys can also read the reviews on Amazon. Um, they are just out, you know, outstanding reviews. But yeah, shoemgk.com is, is a great place to buy, especially if you want to use the code. Uh, my code doesn't work on Amazon. But 
moving forward, uh, it's just something to note here that there is a difference between the condition of an item and the cleanliness of the item. This here has to do with the condition. This is a scuff. This is not something that can be cleaned off, um, but something we want to do after our clean is use our Shoe MGK leather cream. It's like a balm more than a cream, but essentially it gives it a nice shine without having to do much as well as gives it a hydration barrier. So just get a little bit on the applicator here. Again, this is Shoe MGK leather cream. And then we just wanna give this a nice thorough rub all around the boot. And this will keep your shoes, your leathers looking brand new as you wear them, as you maintain them for years to come. Leather is such a highly durable material, and um, especially with a great brand like Doc Martens, you can really enjoy and get the fullest use out of your out of your shoes here. And again, this transcends shoes, guys. You can do this on your purses, on your leather jackets, on your belts. Really, because it's made for leather, you can do it on so many things. But just note, leather is not the same in regard to suede, nubuck, and full grain. Those are three different types, and you have to clean and treat them differently. So just keep that in mind. And then Breba says, hi, great job on the show. Come check out my page. Thank you, Breba. We'll definitely um, consider that. Appreciate you. But yeah, essentially, after that uh, nice shine, what do you guys think? I think it does a pretty good job. And again, compare this to this. If you guys can see, you know, the, it's just ashy, hazy, there's dirt on it, there's grime here, but this one, uh, if you do reselling, this is just great for you um, to get the fullest amount of the money that you can with the time that you spent um, to do that. And then if you just, if you're doing it for yourself at home, this is just a great way, not just to look good, not just to have a good looking shoe rather, but to also have a conditioned shoe that's going to last you a long time. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much, Mona. That really means the world to me. I do put a lot of effort and time into those videos. More than anything, I hope that you enjoy and get skills and tools that will help you maintain your leather and love your leather. So that's this is um, these shoes here. But let's go ahead and move on, and we'll come back to this one and do it as well. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and leave it in the description as well. But absolutely, if you guys want to do um, leather jackets, one of my next videos on um, YouTube is going to be a moto leather jacket. Um, but I can show you guys essentially um, how to do a leather jacket as well. It's going to be very similar to the bag. We just want to get a microfiber cloth with the shoe MGK and just rub that down. Um, you can, of course, put some leather cream on it as well. But let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I left the YouTube link in the description if you guys want to head over there and check it out. No worries, bags, shoe lady. But let's move on to one more shoe here. And these, these are a pair of riding boots from Ariat. And if you guys haven't checked out the channel, I, I will be doing a video of some western cowboy boots from area and give some background on it really excited about that but let's go ahead and clean these ones real quickly let me get some scissors here All right, so yeah, I picked these up the other day. These are pretty cool. Um, as you guys can see, there's quite a bit of fading rubbing off on these Ariat boots here. 
and we want to make sure that we take care of it, that we can make these look like new. And I'm going to do that directly with you guys on the show right now. Let's get to it. So, of course, the first thing that we want to do is give these a scrub down, again, using our Shoe MGK. Um, so I already have some on the scrubbing brush here. Let's just get straight to it. Is anybody familiar with Ariat boots? Does anyone have any? So once that's all suds up, uh, the suds have lifted up that dirt and debris. Let's go ahead and just wipe it off. Hey there, Sparrows. Nice to see a familiar face. And you have one to, to restore as well, huh? Very cool. Yeah, this is definitely like more equestrian wear. And as far as I remember, um, Ariet was the first in the industry to put in type of like athletic type of um, technology into their boots, providing, you know, a structured fit for high activity. And um, yeah, just a really solid brand, great products, good leather. And just already from wiping it off, cleaning it, you guys can see now I do want to know it is damp, so it's going to dry a little bit. But already this boot looks so much better in comparison just by cleaning it off so thank you thank you thank you treasures by donna i really appreciate that but absolutely i want to help all of you this is really important to me you guys are so welcome um, it's my goal to give you the tools and skills to help you guys love your leather something that i really um, want to promote here is the fact that you guys uh, we, I believe that we are all equal humans and we are all given a specific amount of time and each day we have 24 hours. All of us have different jobs. All of us make a certain amount of money and the money that we earn, we buy things. We buy things like this boot. And if you only wear this boot for let's say you get 10 uses out of it and you spent $100, you pay $10, if you do the math, $10 every time you wear the boot. But if you wear your boot um, 100 times instead of 10 times, you're only paying $1 per use. So the, the idea and the concept is price per use. So if, for example, you don't take care of your leather, you don't take care of your the items that you spend your time making the money to buy you are doing a disservice to the time that you you have at your work the time that you use in your life that we all have 24 hours so just you know keep that concept in mind that essentially when you don't take care of your items it doesn't have to be shoes it can be your car it can be you know even the food that you eat um all of that in mind when you don't take care of it, when when you don't get the most use out of it, you are abusing your own time. So respect yourselves, guys, by by taking care of your items, by loving your leather. And that's just my simple way of doing it. So I hope that concept helps you today. So the next thing that we're going to do um, is really just get this toe area. We're going to use the Shoe MGK Leather Cream. It is still damp, so it is darker. But let's go ahead and use that cream.
You guys can also use the cream on the midsole, on the rubber. Rubber also is, you know, depending on it, can be an organic material that breaks down and deteriorate, deteriorates. It can be dry, it can crack. So consider also hydrating that as well. All right. So of course we're gonna we're gonna let this boot dry because it is still damp and also um, there's a waiting period. I think it's a few minutes just to let the leather cream dry. Doesn't say on here, but yeah, it takes takes just a minute for the leather cream to dry on there. Um, but let's take a look at the before and after. Again, guys, just that leather cream gives it a really nice shine on there. And again, this is ready to either be worn again or ready to be stored away. A lot of people don't realize that they should clean, condition their leather before they put it away for the season or if they're not going to be wearing it for a while. So let's go ahead and look at these. That's the difference. Not sure how well you guys can see that, but let's go ahead and answer Angel's question. Can you use these techniques on more glossy sheen leather? So that is called patent leather. Uh, if I if I understand you correctly, and it's essentially, yeah, you definitely can. This is used for all types of leather, suede and nubuck. And then when it comes to the leather cream, this is just for the full grain type of leather. You can use it to gloss up your patent leather as well. Just make sure not to use too much, but it's just a really great product. And again, I'll leave that in the description for you if you want some discounts and free shipping. I am not affiliated with Shoe MGK, I'm not making money in any way from from um, showing you guys these products. I just really enjoy them. Um, but yeah, let's get some close-ups. I mean, look at the uh, dryness of that leather. And just by hydrating it, cleaning it, and using the cream, I mean, it completely looks like a different boot. So, you know, I would I would definitely consider that. But yeah, Angel... Like, especially if you buy some, something like Fry Boots, some of my favorite companies, Thursday Boots, um, even like more luxury boots, Lucese and um, Tony Lama, all kinds of things like that, all kinds of different leather boots, even when it comes to Doc Martens and Solivares and different types like that, definitely can do the same types of things. But literally, you guys may not even want to wear a boot like this, but you could definitely... Be happy wearing a nice boot like that so really all it takes is just a quick clean and condition and you can have your boot completely different yeah no no worries i'll go ahead and leave that in there again you can feel free to take a screenshot of this code and the youtube if you guys are interested but i will be continually putting videos out there for you guys to have this knowledge as well all right, let's see. Should we do one more? We can do um, another pair of Doc Martens. We can just do this other side here as well. Let's just get back to this one. If you guys just joined the show, I had cleaned this one already. Worked out really good, and this is what it was before. Are you talking about in one of the videos, Mona? The uh, the Montana marker. This is for acrylic, but I'm using it for leather. So it's essentially just an empty marker that I filled myself. I got this on Amazon. But I put in the Fibings leather dye. All right, let's get to this one. And again, guys, please ask any questions while I'm here with you. Once I'm gone shortly, uh, I won't have the opportunity to give you guys live help. Angel says, I have a suede Doc Martin with a small stain. Are the, their products Shoe MGK or others might have for that? So, Angel, what I want you to do, if you are looking for some help with that, I have a video specifically on suede. It's a coach 
leather suede boots, head over to my YouTube channel and I give um, specific advice on how to do that. Now, Shoe MGK, I want you to know, is made for suede. It's a great product for suede um, and it cleans it very well. Of course, read the instructions, but if you want some step-by-step -step help, go ahead over to the YouTube channel and there's a uh, coach boot there that is essentially the same thing. So I would love for you to you know, renew your boots doing that. Uh, follow those steps and I'd love to help you out. Uh, make sure you don't use anything like this leather cream on suede. It's not meant for that. This is only for full grain leathers. But let's get back to this clean again. As you guys can see, dust on the rim there, scuffs. Let's go ahead and just scrub it down. And of course, guys, uh, if I've earned your viewership, feel free to go ahead and subscribe on my YouTube channel. That shows YouTube that you guys are appreciative of me. And honestly, I am trying to um, get a following so that I can uh, earn some money for my family. So I would really appreciate if you guys could do that. You, it doesn't cost you guys anything but uh, a few moments of your time to um, just subscribe and like any of those videos. And of course, if you want to support me on Poshmark, you're more than welcome to make a bundle or buy an item from my closet. I sell so many different shoes and clothing for you guys. And if anybody is interested in dresses and more, um, you know, women's clothes, I do, I will leave in the description my wife's channel. Let's see here. She has some amazing items at great prices. So if you guys head over to put on the new, um, she has some really cool stuff, some really, really nice items, and we can ship those to you guys same day. So just keep that in mind. We are Posh Ambassadors. Uh, level two, so you guys are in great hands as well. If you ever have any issues, you can let us know. And thank you so much for subscribing. That meant the world to me. All right, and already we can see uh, that this boot is so much cleaner. Now, something to note here, this is a scuff that is so often seen on Doc Martens and people think, oh, well, I can't do anything about it. Um, but really, if you just use a little bit of elbow grease, gently, of course, and just rub that area, oftentimes, since it's just surface, and you got, you got to make sure that it's a surface scuff and not like a deep scuff, you don't want to ruin by rubbing more. But really, the surface scuffs here just so easily go away from just rubbing that off. And as you guys can see, it didn't come off with the um, brush because the brush is so gentle. Sometimes you need to go with a more pointed pressure. And as you guys can see, it's still drying a little bit, but those scuffs have completely come off the side there. So if you have any type of leather boots similar to this or, you know, just basic Doc Martens 1460 boots and things like that, great for that. So let's do our last thing here, which is using our Shoe MGK Leather Cream. You don't need very much. Don't use too much. And of course, this gives it a really nice shine, but more importantly, it gives it a hydration barrier. So the conditioner we just used, it's going to seal that in. If any of you know about hydration for your skin, um, you know that it's very wise to, you know, use some type of um, moisturizer, but then right after that to use an occlusive, which keeps that moisture inside. My wife taught me that. <laughs> and then uh, Hoban, I went ahead and used one of my favorite cleaners. This is Shoe MGK. 
and I'll leave the description in the description a free code for you that gives you free shipping and fifteen uh, percent off of your order. And then Vandy says, "What would be the quick list start on the coach bag?" That's a great question. So I I would probably put it in my closet at one fifty, um, but I could quick list it at. Um, I could take $30 off of that at 120. Is that something you're interested in? If so, go ahead and let me know. And again, guys, these are really excellent now. Cleaned off entirely. Um, and these are going to be listed today. So these are a size, a women's size five. Go ahead and let me know if you're interested in that. And something to note uh, when you buy leather products from me is that they are not going to be dry and, you know, just deteriorate very quickly. You you guys are going to have these for years on years. And so just keeping in mind the price per use item. If you buy something, again, for $120 and you get 100 uses out of them, you're only paying 12 uh, sorry, $1.20 every time so you're really not spending that much money especially for a high quality bag that's going to last you a long time especially when these bags were originally three four hundred dollars so absolutely okay let's do one last shoe and that is of course the other side here of the area boot and we're just gonna rub it off scrub it down But yeah, if you guys are looking for um, similar prices for like other people who have shows, that's I just want to be upfront. I do not um, start three dollar bids on any of my things. My my time and and the value of these items is far more, and I don't think you guys should do that. If you are sellers, either um, it's not worth your time, uh, depending on what the items are. Um, but a lot of people are selling things that are worth fifty to a hundred dollars for three dollars, and it's just not um, not worth anybody's time to do that. Sure, you guys can get great deals, but you know, for people who are trying to do this for a living, I would definitely suggest um, having a better route for the way that you you do your auctions. All right, so this is nice and hydrated. Let's go ahead and use our Shoe MGK Leather Cream. Vandy, did you have a specific price point that you were looking to uh, purchase the bag for? All right, and this is looking really good on this cap toe boot. No worries. And of course, we always want to stuff the boots as well, just to give them some shape and form. What's really cool about these boots is that they have a zip down. And something that I missed is actually some dust in the front portion here. I'm going to wipe that down. But yeah, guys, definitely message me um, on the side if you specifically want uh, a discount on any of the items in my closet, especially because I can ship those out uh, as soon as possible today. But yeah, I have some very exciting things. But uh, if you guys can help me, uh, we're going to be ending the show now. But please, I'm going to ask you guys a few um, 
questions because I'm trying to make videos that you guys want. So, uh, hey there, Sam, welcome in. Sam's been helping me uh, with different video ideas, but if you guys watch anything in particular on YouTube and, you know, ASMR videos or cleaning tutorial videos, what are some of the things that you want to see? What are some of the brands that you guys want to see cleaned? Um, do you really like, uh, do you like seeing quick maintenance on just regular use items or do you want to see really dirty type of um, boots and bags that are cleaned and restored? You know, are there, do you have a specific or a favorite brand that you have or something a type of leather that you would want to see that would help me out a lot so that I can start to bring you guys uh, some videos that you want to watch. Mona, it is so funny that you say that because one of my next videos that's going to be um, put out maybe possibly even today is a pair of white tennis shoes that were very dirty. Um, they are very, very fun to uh, clean, but keep an eye out for that. Since you did subscribe, um, you will be seeing that. So keep an eye out for that white tennis shoe. Um, Jen says patent leather next time, please. You're, you're absolutely right. I do need to do a patent leather. I need to get my hands on some. I've cleaned so many in the past, but uh, today I, I don't have any on me. But And then um, next one, I would like to see how to clean white leather bag. Very cool. Also, guys, I want you to know um, you can go back to some of my lives on my YouTube to see when I did clean uh, some leather bags and things like that. So keep that in mind as well. Let's go ahead and read some of the other ones. Thank you so much for your time. I enjoyed your show. Very first time. I will be in touch with you. Have a great day. You're very welcome. Thank you guys all for joining. Um, we got a suede leather jacket we want to do. And yeah, let me go ahead and leave my... Um, Leave in the comments here. That is both my YouTube as well as the discount code if you guys want to pick up some shoe MGK. But yeah, please head over there right now, guys, and subscribe. Watch some videos. Have some fun. Enjoy the time and effort I put into there. Um, but yeah, I will leave that in the description. And thank you guys so much for today. I loved cleaning these Ariat boots with you. It was really fun cleaning this coach bag with you. Just a beautiful color and shape. Thank you so much, Tony. Nice to see you as well. And of course, we did the Doc Martens heeled boots. So again, guys, I will be having these all listed by the end of the day um, for you guys if you want to purchase them as well as if anybody wanted to purchase anything right now, I can quick list it. But if not, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Evan. And it is my goal to share with you guys the, t the tools and the skills uh, to love your leather. So thank you so much for taking your time. That's so important to be with me today. And are you talking about these Ariat boots? These are a size, a women's 6B. too small. Yep. If you guys don't find your size, go ahead and head over to my closet. I have all different sizes and different shoes for you over there. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.